Before we dive in, remember, all OSINT techniques here are for educational purposes only. Use this knowledge ethically and legally. We're researchers, not hackers. Respect privacy and the law. I'll give you 10 insane project ideas you can start today, for free. This is going to be epic. First up, social media footprint analysis. Pick a public profile, celebrity, brand, or public figure, and analyze only what's shared publicly. Observe posting patterns, frequency, timing, and content themes. Map their connections. Who do they interact with most? Use a mind map to visualize relationships. Scrutinize photo backgrounds for recurring locations or unique details. Practice extracting location clues, not private info. Organize findings. Posting patterns. Key connections. Potential locations. The goal isn't a dossier, but to train your brain to spot patterns in plain sight. Review your findings. What narrative emerges from their public life? You'll be shocked at how much you can learn from what's shared openly. This project costs nothing but your time and builds your OSINT mindset, curiosity, observation, documentation. Remember, always respect privacy and stick to public data. This is the foundation of digital investigation. Ready to see the world differently? Let's move to the next project. Stay sharp. Next, become a data breach detective. Use Have I Been Pooned to check if an email has appeared in data breaches. Start with your own or public business emails. Note which breaches and what data was exposed. Emails, passwords, usernames, or more. Document findings in a spreadsheet. Email, breach name, date, compromise data. This transforms you from passive user to active analyst. For your own accounts, change passwords and enable two-factor authentication. As an OSINT project, you'll see how breaches ripple across digital lives. It's a powerful lesson in digital hygiene. Understand your vulnerabilities and learn how to protect yourself. Simple, eye-opening, and essential for everyone. Ready for the next challenge? Time to get outside, become a Wi-Fi cartographer. Use your smartphone and a free Wi-Fi scanning app like Wiggle to map public and open Wi-Fi networks in your area. Walk a route, your phone logs, SSIDs, MAC addresses, and security types. Focus on open networks, these are public hotspots. After your walk, analyze the map. Where are open networks clustered? Which businesses provide them? Annotate your map with business names and network locations. This isn't about connecting, just observing the wireless landscape. You'll see the invisible digital infrastructure of your city. Learn to recognize patterns in wireless access and security. It's a fundamental skill for understanding digital environments. You're now seeing a hidden layer of the modern world. Ready to investigate the next digital mystery? Let's go. Now, try an open source geolocation challenge. Take a photo, your own or from the web, and figure out where it was taken using only clues in the image and free tools. Look for text, signs, languages, and environmental details, architecture, cars, plants. Use Google Maps and Street View to match clues and virtually explore locations. Check for metadata or EXIF data for hidden GPS info if available. Document your process, clues, hypotheses, and how you confirmed the location. This sharpens your eye for detail and teaches you to decode the visual world. Every picture tells a story. Learn to read it. Try GeoGuessr or R, where is this for practice? It's addictive, fun, and builds real OSINT skills. Ready to weave a story from the news? Let's continue. Step into the shoes of an investigative journalist. Build a timeline of a major event using only public news articles. Pick an event with broad coverage, tech breakthrough, political event, or major launch. Gather articles from multiple sources, filtering by date for earliest to latest reports. Extract key facts, who, what, where, when. Log everything in a spreadsheet or document. Note discrepancies and conflicting details. This is source analysis. Build a chronological timeline, citing sources and noting any contradictions. Write a summary. What did you learn from the timeline that you wouldn't from a single article? This project teaches you to synthesize, spot bias, and see the bigger picture. It's a crucial skill for any analyst. Ready to follow a digital breadcrumb trail? Let's track usernames. Time to play cyber detective. Track a username across the web. Pick a unique username from a public forum or comment section. Use a username search engine to check hundreds of platforms for matches. Verify each profile. Look for matching photos, bios, or links. Build a mind map. Username in the center, platforms as nodes, and new info in each node. Piece together a digital identity from public fragments. 
This shows how easy it is to aggregate public info and why unique usernames matter for privacy. Document your findings in a simple report. Stick to public profiles only. Respect privacy. This is a core OSINT skill for tracking digital footprints. Ready to mine some public data? Let's dig in. Onward. Become a public data miner. Find a large public data set, city open data, government portals, or global databases. Download and open the data in a spreadsheet. Study the columns. Understand what's recorded. Ask three interesting questions. Most common complaint, seasonal trends, or location patterns. Use sorting and filtering to answer them. Visualize results with simple charts or graphs. Write up your findings. Link to the dataset, your questions, and answers. This introduces you to data analysis and finding patterns in society. You're turning raw data into real knowledge. Ready to trace the history of an image? Let's go deeper. Become an image archaeologist with reverse image search. Find an intriguing image, news, meme, or profile photo. Use Google Images, TinEye, and Yandex to search for matches. Look for the oldest version. TinEye can sort by oldest. Trace the image's journey. Where did it first appear and how did it spread? Document your process, screenshots, links, and a brief summary of the image's history. This is your BS detector for the visual web. Spot fakes and verify sources. Essential for anyone navigating today's internet. Practice this skill daily. Ready to map a company's digital footprint? Let's build a corporate blueprint. Onward. Shift focus to organizations. Map a company's public digital footprint. Choose a small or medium public company for manageability. Start with their website. About, team, press. Note key personnel and history. Check corporate registration databases for official info. Registration date, address, directors. Use Hoyas Lookup for domain details and Google Dorking for public files. Explore their social media. LinkedIn is especially useful for company size and structure. Document findings, personnel, history, online properties, technical details. Synthesize into a single report. You'll see how much is public about any company. This is corporate OSINT in action. Ready for a real-world cybersecurity challenge? Let's hunt threats. Here we go. Dive into open source threat intelligence. Track an active digital threat, phishing campaign or malware using only open sources. Find a threat via cybersecurity news or Twitter. Gather indicators of compromise, IOCs, malicious domains, emails, subject lines. Use threat intelligence platforms like Alien Vault OTX to find more IOCs. Investigate IOCs. Hoy's lookup, passive DNS, hosting infrastructure. Map connections between domains and servers. Document everything in a Threat Hunter's Journal threat name, IOCs, findings. You're learning how security pros track and understand threats. This is a big step into real cybersecurity analysis. Stay curious, stay ethical. Ready for your final mission? Let's wrap up. That's a wrap. 10 free OSINT projects to build real skills. The information is out there. Use it ethically and for good. Which project are you most excited to try? Comment below and share your ideas. Let's build a community of curious investigators. If you learn something new, hit subscribe and turn on notifications. More deep dives are coming. This is just the beginning. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.